Alright, I'm just going to show you very quickly the basic structure of an XNA game. This is assuming that you already have Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 installed and XNA 4.0. We're going to go to File, New, Project, select Windows Game 4.0, and let's name it something a little more meaningful such as Color the Screen. And you want to save it in a meaningful location. This is where you do that. By default, it's going to put it in a folder called Visual Studio 2010 slash projects. And you want to make sure that create the directory for solution. Create directory for solution is checked. It should be by default. Click OK. And it creates a complete working game for you automatically. If I actually press the green start debugging button now we have a working game here even though it's just a blue screen so it does a lot of the work for us it imports all the files that we need for the game using using statements and I'm just going to I'm not going to go over every line of code I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that you'll use as a beginner we have the game class all your code will take place in this class called game one the initialize method here is where you will put your initialization logic such as setting your life to zero at the beginning of your game. The load content method is where you will load game content such as images for your sprites, um, sound effects, fonts, things like that. And these methods occur only once when you run the game. They happen before the game actually begins. And another very important method, this is probably the most important method in XNA, is the update method. This is where your game logic takes place. This method runs every frame that the game is running. So if your game's running at 60 frames per second, this is going to occur 60 frames per second. This is where you want to put the brains of your game. Things like when a bullet hits an enemy what happens, what happens when you press the A button, that kind of stuff. And the draw method is for actually drawing things to the screen. So when you want to draw your bullets or enemies or cars or trees or whatever you're using in your game, when you want to draw them to the screen, you have to do it in the draw method. This method also occurs every frame, and that's how XNA games run so fast and smoothly. You can see here the default color of the background is cornflower blue. I'm going to change this to red. And press the start debugging button and now I have a red background and in the, in the next tutorial we'll add more code but this tutorial was just to show you the basics of how the XNA structure worked and that's it thanks